Welcome to Awesome Sauce, the show where Yes TV staff takes a break from work to try some hot sauces and talk about some different conversation topics. Today's topic is New Year's resolutions. Just a couple days ago, we celebrated New Year's, and uh, now that we're into 2018, people are trying to do their resolutions, maybe succeeding, maybe not. Um, what are your guys' opinions on New Year's resolutions? I think it's a good excuse if you want to improve something about your life, and it's a good way to keep track of how well you did, because you know you started at the beginning of the year. See, that's true, but I like the idea of setting a goal, but I'm not sure the beginning of the year has to be the time you do that. I think if you're gonna to commit to doing something, you really wanna change something about your life, you gotta be ready to do it and commit to it. So I'm all about like make a goal, but pick a time in the year when you're ready to commit to it. Or like now. Cause sometimes I'll think of something and it's like, you know, I'll start that January 1st cause it's like a nice clean start. But if I think about it in November, why don't I just make that self-improvement in November instead of putting it off? I completely agree. Like I love the idea of starting something new or getting rid of an old habit, especially in the new year because it's like fresh start. But it's also, it reminds me, like resolutions remind me of, I'll do it Monday. Like right. that whole mindset. I was like, oh, I'll start Monday. I'll start my diet Monday. I'll start to work out right. Monday. January 1st just reminds me of that. Like just do it now. I, I love a, I saw a Nike billboard and it said, yesterday you said tomorrow. So like, if you're gonna say tomorrow, it'd make it today instead. It's like that Shia LaBeouf thing where he screams at you. <laughs> do it! <laughs> Shall power to do. you if you want to make a resolution. There's nothing bad about it. New Year's might be just that extra motivation to actually make you do it. In the January kind of 1st. collective group of people all right. yeah. joining in on something yeah. together all... might motivate people. Yeah. So our first sauce is Brother Brew Brews Chipotle Pepper Sauce. It's Ooh. organic. Mm, I actually really like that. Mm. It's a little too vinegary for me. Really? You get that? Yeah, but I like vinegar. Mm. Okay. So that's probably why I like this one a lot. Good heat though. Yeah. It's it's like a spicy barbecue. Like mm -hmm. it's got a barbecue mm -hmm. kind of base to it. Yeah. That's a good like chicken finger dipping <laughs> sauce. Yeah, it's it's not just like a hot sauce. It's right. good maybe because it tastes so good with that. I don't find it very sweet though. No. Yeah, it's not sweet. And the heat is nice. Like it's just an undertone. It's good. I like how it coated the chicken too. Some sauces, you dip it and it doesn't really stick. So let's rank it. Out of 10 yeses, the Brother Brew Brew's Chipotle Pepper Sauce. For Brother Brew Brew, I'll give it five out of 10 yeses. I don't know, maybe there just wasn't, wasn't a lot, wasn't a lot there, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'll give it a mediocre six. I actually really liked it. I think I'm gonna give it an eight. And I would agree, that's a solid eight for me. Yeah. All right, so we talked about what our opinions are on these resolutions, and we all seem to be either middle of the road or in favor. So did you guys have resolutions in 2017? And if you did, how did you do them? I actually didn't really make any resolutions. No need for self-improvement. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. I don't good enough already. I mean, yeah, it's never really been something I ever took on yearly. I'm more of like a, not a resolution type of person, but I'm more of like a, a year's word. Like I have a word for every year. I started this in college, so it's kind of like, not so much like an actual tangible thing you can do, but it's more of just like a theme for the year. Hmm. I don't remember what my <laughs> word is last <laughs> year really either, right but I do remember like in college I had one of the years was passion. Do everything with right. passion or, you know, kind of like living out your passion. So. That's cool. But I don't remember what mine was last year. I had a resolution last year was to read three books, which I'm sure to a lot of you who read, you're gonna laugh at that, mm -hmm. and I read zero. Not wah, bad. Wah. <laughs> Not even like half or a couple chapters, I think I literally read. Did you buy books, or were you just like thinking, hmm, I'm just gonna read three books? No, I didn't like, maybe I should have set the books out on January 1st and said like, yeah. these are the three books, instead of just like, I'll read a book, because it's like, I know I can read a book in a week, so I can put it off as late as I want. So I think in like February, it's like, oh, I got all year to read. So really books. you have to learn not to procrastinate. That should be that my next solution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I had one last year. I really wanted to just make some healthy eating choices. So I was looking for things to cut out or to replace. And it's been good. Like yeah. you kind of get to a point where things start to taste better yeah. or you make better choices. Yeah. It becomes more of your lifestyle than just a resolution. It becomes a habit. So. Yeah. You gotta give it some time. Is there one food that you didn't eat last year that you now love? Greek yogurt. Oh, nice. Yeah, yogurt. great swap for things. Yeah, so, so true. Who knew you could use it on so many things? So. <laughs> 
All right, our second sauce is aardvark sauce. I don't think it contains any aardvarks. It is <laughs> tomato based, which is interesting for a hot sauce, so you should be able to taste that, whether that's a good thing or not. I don't want it to taste tomato-y. I know, I don't either. It looks it's on tomato. Like tomato sauce. No, 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 don't smell it, do you? <laughs> it's definitely hotter. <laughs> yeah. I can't taste tomato at all. No, I can't either. What am I tasting? What's that like initial flavor? Just it's the heat. aardvark. <laughs> it's the aardvark. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely not tomato -y. but it's not bad though. It doesn't taste horrible. It's just really spicy. I don't love the taste. What I and I again, I don't know what. I think you I'm just have in your head that it's tomatoes. tomatoes. Well, that's what I know. When you said tomato, I was preparing myself not to like it, <laughs> yeah. and then all I got was heat. All right, the secret aardvark sauce out of ten yeses. I wonder what the secret is. The ingredient. That I don't know what it is. <laughs> yeah, that mystery ingredient. I'll give four yeses. If it's gonna be hot, then I also like it to have more. Of like a unique flavor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give it a four as well, okay. only because I'm kind of with you. Like there wasn't anything super unique about the flavor. It's all I felt was like hot heat. <laughs> I'm gonna give it three for three reasons. One, it's too spicy. I can't really enjoy it. Two, I can't really taste it. The heat overpowers it. Three, because it's just okay. <laughs> 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 Those are really good reasons. <laughs> Thank you. I will give it a two. I felt like there was a one second barrier where you could be like, what does this taste like? Before all of a sudden it was just heat. And whatever it tasted like for that one second, I didn't like. All right, so most of us didn't do resolutions last year or didn't succeed. This year, 2018, have you made a resolution? Are you going to? If so, what is it? So for me, one thing I want to do is I have little kids, so I want to do more things to make like memories with them, which I know is something a lot of people say, but like having those experiences, making the most of our weekends together and our evenings together while I work at, during the day. So yeah, that's good. I think like being present is a really good one. To just be present, to be with the people that you're with, and to enjoy like living life together without having to like always take a picture or always have to like show people where you are and just actually be where you are. That's going to be one that I'm going to be more intentional about this new year. It's a good one. So I'm going to redo my resolution from last year. Maybe just read a book, and I'm going to try to pick a book by the end of January. So I have a mini resolution, pick a book by the end of January, big resolution, read it by the end of the year. <laughs> Baby steps. And I like your, I mean, your eating healthier one, I feel like that's just a life resolution all the time, but it's, you know, that's something Even like would... picking one thing, like one swap mm -hmm. this year. Eat less of this and more of this instead. I would like to swap iced tea with water. It's a good one. Mm -hmm. Who's gonna keep you accountable for that? We Jesus. will. Jesus. <laughs> I need his help. <laughs> What's in there? <laughs> I guess for mine, uh, I already have a gym membership. That <laughs> Have I gone recently? <laughs> so maybe I'll go more. Uh, yeah, so I guess that could be mine. I mean, here I go again. <laughs> like half committing to something. Go to but the gym more, eat better. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we should all just eat more Greek yogurt. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> Apparently that's go. an attainable goal. It's attainable. Yeah, it's, it's an easy one. <laughs> so our third and final hot sauce is called Black Bison. It is a scorpion and ghost pepper base with Berries, three berries. We have cherry, raspberry, and blackberry. This is gonna be very hot. <laughs> okay. You're supposed to laugh at my joke. <laughs> on this show. Oh, that's a big dent yeah, there. I, I ran out of it. Just a little taste. Oh, oh that's that was more than <laughs> <laughs> more than his. Let's all do it at once. I'm not gonna enjoy this. <laughs> that's a lot. Okay. okay. Oh, Cheers. Cheers. To the new year. To the new year. <laughs> Happy 2018. Wipe off the sauce on yours. It's very sweet. I do. It's better. I want to. I want to let it sit for a bit before I That's start so hot. fighting it. It's very tasty though before you get all the heat. I don't agree. Well, you're not a big berry person, right? I don't like fruit in my food. I can't even like think right now. I know. <laughs> so I kind of cheated. What? Because I knew I dunked too much, so I just like shoved it in and tried to like not let it touch my tongue. Oh my god! So now it's just gonna I just burn your. Well. You so, said here's to the new year. I know. And, with us. and so I feel like it, it's just like burning the back of my mouth. <laughs> But like my tongue is okay. I don't know. It's very You're, he's, hot. He's dying right now. <laughs> <laughs> I just think how much I want Greek yogurt right now. Just cool Decoded. myself off. If it almost feels like my tongue is, has a cut. In it. Yeah, yeah. Like I bit my tongue. Yeah. Yes. So if you like the feeling of biting your tongue, black bison is the sauce for you. Or like the tongue to the frozen pole. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's like, ah, that's so burning, it's, hurting. That's really what it feels, it feels like. like. 
All right, yeah. so let's rank it out of 10 yeses. I'm gonna do it a three, three yeses. This is really hot, mm -hmm. and I'm like in pain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if food is supposed to do that to you. I'm gonna give this a five, because it's like kind of an experience. No, I think I'm gonna give it like a one. Like Adam said, it's very unpleasant, and I couldn't taste any of the flavors. I'm gonna give it a six. Ooh. It is extremely hot, but I really liked the flavor. So that's it for this episode of Awesome Sauce. We talked about our New Year's resolutions, what we think of resolutions in general. Uh, we definitely think they can be a positive thing, but also if you think of something you want to improve about yourself, don't wait for January 1st. Do it whenever you think about it. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. We have new episodes every Wednesday. We got new hot sauces and new conversation topics. You don't want to miss it. Thanks.